Welcome back one last time to the Dublin's Novel Solving Commentary video series. And in this video, I'll be finishing up the remainder of the Dublin's pack, as we are on the final rank of bonus, and there are only five levels here. And so I will just be covering uh, the remaining five levels yeah, in this video. So hang in there for a bit longer, and we'll be done. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, first up, bonus one. Uh, Plectora's Temple. I think I said the first word correctly, but I'm not certain. Yeah, and I don't even know who that is. Um, by the way, for this one. Uh, I would definitely say this is definitely one of the hardest levels of the rank. Um, which is pretty interesting considering it is the first level. Uh, of, of the bonus rank. But, um, yeah, at the same time, though, yeah, this is definitely way different than it is on the Lemonai version. Yeah, as it is very backgroundable. And you can definitely tell because of the back, uh, because of the pickups. So anyway, yeah, at the start, I go ahead and max out the release rate with three lemmings, and then I drop it down to 290. Yeah, it's just really to get some timing correct here. So yeah, the solution here is definitely not very easy, but it's a pretty good one in my opinion. Yeah, it's it's a pretty solid though for the most part. And yes, this is survivable. Yeah, just by pixel, but yeah, it is um, survivable. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go, go ahead and mine with the climber from the other side. Yeah, in order to release the crowd. And and then uh, at this time, I go ahead and build with the first lemming that gets to over here. So that the others when they turn back, they're gonna uh, get over here. And then we're gonna, um, I think we just bomb there. Yeah, in order to uh, make a turnaround point for, for, for them down there. And yes, uh, there is some timing here. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest part. Because, yeah, only one lemming can get, go on by. Yeah, to this area. Yeah, everyone else needs to turn around. And so, what I do here is that I just bomb uh, a lemming right where the miner is. Yeah, in order to make this hole, yeah, that's deep enough to turn the others around. And it also stops the miner as well. And at this time, we go ahead and collect another bomber pickup. And of course, we need to build over. Yeah, because there are these needle straps, which will puncture and kill the lemming. And then, after the builder's done, we're going to collect another bomber pickup. Yeah, and then we go ahead and bomb here, as I said. Yeah, in order to make a turnaround point, but at the same time, they can still go out to the right. Alrighty. And now, uh, I think we just wait for the other pickups first. Yeah, so that builder and two minor pickups. Alright, now we can go ahead and do the rest of the low. So we go ahead and mine with the lemming that's trapped in this pit over here. Yeah, once again, to let the crowd through. Okay, and then it's important that you keep the climber alive because uh, he's the only one who can get out of the pit in order to build the last uh, bridge to the exit. Okay, and then we just go ahead and bomb the miner. Yeah, before he can break through the floor. Um, so this will cause a turnaround point, but at the same time, they can still go out to the right. Yeah, this is still a ramp that they, that they can uh, ascend. So anyway, yeah, we need to go ahead and build, and then it's important that he turns around since we still need to mine the crowd out. Yep, and that's it. So yeah, definitely a difficult level. But uh, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, the solution is pretty good here, in my opinion. Makes clever usages of the miners and the bombers. Uh, bonus two. Only in the footsteps of... Huh. Yeah, and um, to Dota Chicago and anyone else, yeah, I prefer not to say that three-letter uh, word out loud on camera. Yeah, as I am a... Um, uh, I am an atheist myself, so um, yeah, and I'm not. I tend to not be a religious person, and so for this one, yeah, I believe this is a um, like an Indiana Jones reference, and as I have not seen any of the movies, yeah, interestingly enough, um, yeah, therefore I didn't really know the secret for this low, but yeah, there are certain blocks in which they, uh, they are uh, trapped with fire, and you. And in Neon Lemix, yeah, fortunately there's no, um, like, um, guesswork needed, because if you turn clear physics mode, yeah, you can tell which blocks are fired, and therefore, and therefore which ones to avoid. Yeah, but for the Neon Lemix conversion, yeah, since the standard is to, uh, make traps invisible as much as possible, yeah, this is actually changed for the Lemonite version, so that, yeah, for some of these you can see the dangers ahead of time. But on Lemonite, yeah, unless you know the secret, yeah, like, I guess password you can call it. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, it is definitely a lot of trial and error, though. Especially as you can only lose one here. 
but this one is a little bit easier, yeah, aside from the uh, hidden traps, though. This is definitely um, easier than the previous, though. Um, but anyway, we need to go ahead and build here. Yeah, then we go ahead and dig through the eye. Yeah, the eye is safe. And then I just go ahead and block behind him. Okay, and then dig through the E. Yeah, the E is also safe. Yeah, and while I'm watching the solution, I actually don't remember the actual uh, word. Well, I don't even think it's a word itself, but like, um, yeah, I don't remember like what letters are safe and which ones aren't. But they do spell out something, yeah. Which is an Indiana Jones reference, apparently. By the way, yeah, I built to turn around, then bash, and then build, and then bash again. Yeah, again through the H. So, so far here, I E H. Okay. And then we need to go ahead and build to avoid the uh, uh, flamethrower trap here. Okay, bash through the M. Okay, and then build. Yeah, then I just, I just go ahead and have it turn around. And then make the long way around again. And then go ahead and mine through the O. So, R E H M O. And then, yeah, down here is safe. And you can also build up, yeah, without him touching the uh, flamethrower and being torched. Then we go ahead and mine through. Yeah, so now we get B. I E H M O V. Uh, bash. And then build over the gap, of course. And yeah, it's a uh, solid terrain here. That's why he hits his head and stops. Okay, and then build to get to the A. Um, well, actually, I dig first. Yeah, and then I go. Okay, bash on through. And yeah, I do believe we need to mine, yes. Okay, build it, build it to get across this gap, of course. Yeah, and then Grail. <laughs> Pointing to the exit. It's a holy Grail. So, apparently a uh, Monty Python uh, reference, I believe. Okay, and then build here to make a turnaround. So it's, it's a solid train. Yeah, and then finally I mine the block of free, and that's it. So, as you can see, all the builders get used here. But you have plenty of digging destructive skills. So, what does the spell? I E H M O B A, I think. Maybe the W is included, but I have no idea. Yeah, but I think it's just the A, so it's like. I E H M O V A? Yeah, I, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, because I forgot what the actual. Like, uh, pass code is here. Yeah, and, and like, uh, in order to, um, know what is the safe route here. Yeah, which, which lot of blocks to avoid, yeah, because they're capital fire and which ones are safe. And then bonus three, just my pretty remake. Um, pretty much like, uh, based on the, uh, level Lemmings arc that you can find in the Genesis port. Uh, and it's definitely one of the hardest levels. And, uh, a lot of people will argue that it's even. It's an even better lower than the um, final lower mayhem, yeah, that you can find in Dulce, for example. Yeah, because it is, it is definitely a true puzzle, and I definitely remember being stumped here for quite a while. Yeah, not this particular low, yeah, but the actual Lemmings Arc low. Yeah, on the Genesis porch. Yeah, when I played it on an emulator all those years ago. Um, yeah, this is just uh, loosely based on that on that low, but with some modifications here, such as yeah, the opening here is wider. And there's also some, some steel plates as well. Alright, so I set up two climbers and then I dig against the steel, steel here. Yeah, this is to make a turnaround point for the other climber. Okay, and then build. And then build here to reach the exit. Yeah, you don't need a builder here. Yeah, these are lined up so that they fall to on the other side. Yeah, so we build here twice. Okay, and then we need to have him turn around so he can mine out the crowd. Yeah, and then I just max out the release ray. But there's only two left to come out of the entrance. Yeah, and the climber would just climb to the exit. Okay, and then finally, uh, we just use a bit of timing here. Yeah, go twice. And then finally, um, go one more time over the gap. Over the bigger pit, and that's it. So yeah. This one is probably, like, maybe a little bit easier, but, um... I think um, it is actually possible to do this without the uh, turnaround point like I did by digging next to the steel. I can't quite remember though. Um, but yeah, it's just know that it's just loosely based on Lemmings Arc. Yeah, that you can find on the Genesis port, and it's pretty much the final mayhem level. 
yeah, rather than rendezvous at the mountain, you know, which you find on dogs, for example. Uh, bonus four, those are molten rocks, and then time limit of two minutes here. Um, somewhat of intimidating though because of the wide size, but uh, it's really not that bad considering you only have builders here. Um, some of which were made pickups here to fix some back routes. Yeah, I don't even know why I scrolled down there. <laughs> Since they're the first set of replays. And we have a pretty high release right here. And, yeah. Once again, there's a gap here, so don't, don't fall through without being torched. Okay, so it's just all about knowing where the lemmings will go, and then just uh, using the builders, uh, builders accordingly. So we need to build here to uh, turn around. Yeah, and it's with the second lemming here. In order to give the first lemming uh, enough time to uh, uh, see off this gap here with the builder. And then with the final lemming, yeah, I'll go ahead and build to uh, turn around so that we can like um, uh, build one last time to get to this exit. And also, there's another exit on the far right over here. However, this is a red herring. Yeah, we don't use it at all. Instead, everyone goes to the left exit. Yeah, but you actually don't know that until you have played the low and tried some things out. So yeah, as you can see, the builder finishes on time before anyone slips on through and falls into the lava. Yeah, and then once again, same thing here. Yeah, there's a gap so that no one gets torched. Yeah, so as you can see, that builder turns around, and then we get two more builder pickups. So really, there are seven builders here in total for the low. Yeah, but two of them were made pickups, yeah, in order to fix the back, back routes, like I said. And so it's not really possible to do that on Lebanon, since there aren't many pickups. Uh, but well, um, I can't quite remember if I'd like entirely cheese the lower. I will have to wait and see yeah, when I start recording my solutions to the, to the Lemonai um, version at the back. By the way, and actually, how did this happen over here? Oh, oh yes, 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 that's right. Yeah, I turned our second lemming around. Yeah, in order to give him some uh, a, a head start in order to see out the gap with the builder. Right, right. And yeah, and also in this level, hopefully you're not too claustrophobic. Yeah, apologies if you are, but um, um, yeah, it is in a way kind of fun to see uh, how the limbs travel through the level, though. And yeah, uh, this was also placed in such a way so that um, um, the the race um, height of the builder staircase helps them get over. Yeah, when they come back to the left, although you can certainly build like right on top here. Yeah, and I believe they, it should still be possible to finish the gap on time as well. Oh yeah, there should be plenty of, of time yeah, before the others arrive. Yeah, and you build the, at the step higher. Yeah, and then go to get to the exit as I said before. And now everyone else is turning back towards the left. And then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and build with, uh, with the second to last lemming here, Yeah, which I use here. Yeah, in order to uh, finish on time for the others to get back across to the left. Yeah, and then finally, we need to build uh, here. Yeah, uh, one of them unfortunately slips by, but that's okay. Yeah, he's not going to be able to go down here. He said he's just going to make the long way back. Yep, and that's already it. So, what did that uh, achieve? The... Oh, right, right, right. Oh, there's a turnaround point here. Yep. I forgot about that. Yeah, just due to the way I placed the builder. And I think it has to be that way as well. Although, I could certainly use an uh, earlier lemming to do the... No, 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 actually, no. I think somebody will fall into the flamethrower trap if you do it with an earlier lemming. So, yeah, it has to be one of the last lemmings to do that building. So, yeah, there you have it. There's that. There's the solution for this low. For the penultimate low, and there's 14 seconds remaining. Alrighty, and the final low, bonus five, Lemmings Arc. Yeah, and as you can see, the author is DMA, because they're the ones who made the low. Yeah, they're creators of the game. Um, the creators of the Lemmings game. Um, yes, and like I said, this is the uh, final level of Mayhem on the Genesis port. Yeah, which uh, people argue is a much better low than Rendezvous at the Mountain. Yeah, and I can certainly agree with that, because this is definitely a real puzzle. Yeah, and one in which I was stuck on for a while. Yeah, when I first uh, played the low, yeah, all those years ago, and on an emulator. Yeah, it definitely took me a long time. But at the same time, though, there are some annoyances here with the um, uh, the builder checks, yeah, depending on, um, on the engine that you're playing. Uh, anyway, I've been sent the first lemming up as a climber. And so, yeah, if you were one of those people who 
was like probably needlessly stuck on the snow. Yeah, then you know, you're not alone. Uh but anyway, yeah, I go ahead and start bashing at a point where he gets interrupted because the the drop is a uh, is a bit too high to, to keep the basher going. Yeah, and then I go ahead and send up another climber once the first climber is up far enough ahead. And this was changed, yeah. There's an overhang here since um yeah, in Neo Lemix the ceiling is deadly. Oh, and come to think of it, it's not even connected to the ceiling either. But yeah, on other ports, yeah, the, the ceiling is um, solid, so therefore when they touch the ceiling, they will actually fall back down, yeah, and not die. Yeah, like they do in, in new formats in Neo Lemix. But in any case, yeah, to prevent uh, interactions with the ceiling here, yeah, uh, the terrain was shifted so that that does, doesn't happen. Yeah, even though it's not connected to the ceiling here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's not the case, yeah, in the actual level, you know, on the Genesis port. Yeah, it, it actually is open to the ceiling. Yeah, and Lemmings will touch, and the climbers will touch it. Yeah, but on Genesis, it is safe. Yeah, from what I remember. Anyway, we go ahead and build here. And, yeah, this comes at a time when the second climber is able to hoist himself up before he gets blocked on the, um, uh, by the staircase and falls back down. And, yeah, it is survivable for, for the climber, though. Uh, but it's actually, s uh, not safe for Faller. Yeah, who is falling from the top? Um, yeah, when you walk on the top ledge up here. By the way, yeah, I go ahead and mine here with the first climber. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much the uh, the most difficult part here because uh, yeah, depending on the engine, yeah, the builder um, the builder placement can be extremely annoying because sometimes they don't connect with the ceiling successfully. Yeah, and if that happens, yeah, then unfortunately you need to restart. And then yeah, the other climber would just go to get to the exit. And then I send up another climber at this time. Yeah, basically to do these about at about the same time. And also, this was just a way for me to like basically finish the level. Yeah, under the original time limit, which I believe is three minutes. Yeah, if I remember correctly. By the way, yeah, we need need to go ahead and mine at around this point. Although I certainly can make this a little easier by probably screwing the miner a little over, so that uh, when we start mining, yeah, this won't be in the way, and therefore there's more uh, room to build. Yeah, in order to in order to connect with the uh, uh, minor tunnel up here. Yeah. So the miner needs to be at the right spot in order to get the others up. Yep. And then the one final thing to do is to uh, build the minor tunnel. And that's it. So yeah, you watch the clock here. So I would have finished with, I believe, two seconds to spare. Yeah. That is, if the time limit was three minutes, though. Yeah. Which I believe it is. Yeah, or if it was four minutes. I can't quite remember, but I think I remember it being three minutes, though. But yeah, there you have it. That's uh, Mayhem 30 for you on the Genesis port. Yeah, so in case you were wondering what, this, what the solution is uh, or how you solved it all, yeah, there you go. And I believe that that's actually one of many ways to solve it, actually. Yeah, I think there might be other ways to solve it, too, but I can't quite remember right now. Um, by the way, yeah. After finishing bonus 5, yeah, it brings you back to the first level, which is playing 1. Alrighty, so there you have it. This is the D Dublin's uh, new, fam new formats in the Olympics level solving commentary video series. And so, if you've been watching since the beginning, yeah, I hope you definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, if it's been a while for you, yeah, hopefully it was a blast, yeah, seeing these levels again after so long. Yeah, I know it was for me, and I definitely enjoyed myself, yeah, as you can probably tell. Yeah, from the way I did the commentary and everything. And uh, I definitely, I'm pretty, uh, I know for sure that Dolo Chikar would definitely enjoy this uh, video series if he's been watching it. And uh, if he hasn't, then I definitely know he'll uh, bring himself up to speed and uh, go through the uh, videos of this series. And so, um, yeah. Um, so in addition to um, thanking Dolo Chikar for the Dublin's pack. So once again, merci. Merci, um, Dota Chicago, and also uh, thank you to to Echo for the conversion to Neo Linux. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely thanks to him and also the Linux forums. Yeah, who wanted to keep uh, Dota Chicago's legacy alive? Yeah, by uh, porting the uh, pack over to Neo Linux. Yeah, so as a result, yeah, Dublin's is definitely one of those packs where um, yeah, his uh, legacy is kept alive as a result, and also um, yeah, it's it's definitely not like buried somewhere and forgotten. And, um, 
yeah, it's definitely a pack, yeah, which uh, a lot of people can highly recommend because it's a very high quality one and um yeah, it's it's definitely one that uh pretty much every player should uh play through because yeah, there's there's plenty of stand standout levels here and um you you might even learn uh a lot of things in the process as well. Yeah, I know I did uh when I first played through this pack on Lemonite all those years ago. Um so yes, um it was definitely a blast going through this pack again after so long. Um yeah, and uh, just um seeing all these solutions again and just mirror oh yeah, yeah, I remember how good this level was and everything. So yeah, Dota um I mean um Itcho did a pretty good job with, with the conversion. And again, yeah, Dota to call himself, yeah, with the original Dublin's pack and everything. So thank you thank you for this pack and um and so now that the video series is done, yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh record my solutions for the Lemonai version, and I will also get them up on my channel. Yeah, and um, yeah, um, it will probably mostly be of interest to Dota Chicago, but um, if you fancy yourself um, um, uh, viewing them, then yeah, by all means, um, be my guest. Um, and so, yeah, uh, for the next several days, I'm just gonna uh, record my solutions for the Lemonai version. Yeah, so um, for some of them, yeah, you will see some drastic differences, yeah, such as how uh, very background routable they are on Lemonai, just because of the fact that you don't have the luxury of back uh, pickups, for example. Um, and so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is the Dublin's uh, new format's new Linux level solving commentary. And so, with this, um, have a great day, everyone. And as Dota Chicala would say in his language, au revoir.